In this video demonstration, we're going to swipe down to the cog and scroll till we see device information. We're going to open up and show you the camera's firmware 10001017, or known as firmware 01010510. Timer shooting. You're going to look for the date and time. You want to set the time. It is 7.13. And it goes back to 8.13. In order to get to 7, you need to go to 6. And you're at 7.13. As we back out and scroll to we see timer shooting, we hit the switch to green and it enables the mode. You have customs and you have your default modes. You're only entitled to do video, super night, and time lapse. If we have created a custom, we have time lapse. We're going to change it to hyperlapse. We're going to swipe down, create a profile, and see it as hyperlapse. So now when we're in here, we have hyperlapse. Scroll down, into the gear, and back to time of shooting, and you will not see in the mode hyperlapse. It is disabled to do. If you're gonna do video mode, and you go to the duration, you have from 30 seconds all the way up to five hours. If you're gonna change over to time-lapse mode, your duration is disabled. Let's bring it back to video mode. You have the option to repeat once, five, 10, 30 times every day. The last thing to do is set up a time. The system time is 1916. If you go to PM, it's still 1916 plus. So you go to 1920, hit the check mark, and then close out. And you should now be set up when you go into your video, a time, 1920. If you click on it, it brings you into the timer shooting. All you need to do now is wait for three minutes. Close the camera down. and wait three minutes. We have hooked up power with the microphone, the DJI mic adapter. If you're hooking up for a time lapse that is longer than a day's time or weeks later, you're gonna need power. We are nearing the 720 for the scheduled recording called the timer shooting. Should start within a few seconds. The camera should turn on, take a minute video, and shut down automatically. It is 720. We'll give it a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds has went by and we'll be on to 721. Depending on the time clock of the DJI, and there we go, we have this shut off because that's the way that is. Depending on with DJI and how they set things up, there may be a minimum requirement of a timer recording. You may need to have five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour. You cannot just do a one minute ahead of schedule. You may have to set up a schedule an hour later. 
So in order to see if this has worked and it did not, we we'll turn on the camera. 1920 was the time. As we look at the time that we set it for, it went a minute past and it did not do its time. So we get back out, shut off, close, and that's my last video. It shows you that that is how timer recording works. You may try to take your camera, swipe down, come into the settings, and make sure that you got the time 100% set up correctly. We are on 722, and when we hit the check mark, we're back to 822. So now we're gonna do 2025. We're gonna go to the cog, to the timer recording. We're gonna enable, hit the time, and we're gonna go 2025 and return back to see if it starts up. It is 722. We are nearing the 725 to 2025 of military time. And there we are. We have to give it a couple of seconds to see if it will turn on. And then the last result will be to actually turn on the camera and leave on at the time. And that will not get this to work the way it's supposed to. We're going to turn the camera on. We're going to hit the time and show the time that we were 30 seconds in and it did not work. The only thing left for us to do is bring it an hour ahead. What we can do here is back out, swipe down, go to the cog, and look at our time again. Date and time. Is there a way to change our time to military time? Yes. Click OK. We're 21, 25. So what we're going to do is here, go here and change the time to 21, 27. That is enough time to go. And click yes. And what we're going to do is X out and leave the screen open and wait for another minute to go by. You'll look over here if it starts to be a red bullet. It is 727. Give it a couple of seconds. See if it starts to record. We're going to hit the time. Hit the time. And we're already in 20 plus seconds. This is timer recording. There is no way for us to get it to work correctly in all the scenarios shown.